Welcome to Oracle for Startups. I'm Whitney Dermick, and today I am joined by Tony Nash, CEO and co-founder of Complete Intelligence. Thank you for joining me, Tony. Thanks, Whitney. My pleasure. So can you tell me a little bit about what Complete Intelligence does and for who? We work with global manufacturers and we help them better understand their cost and revenue environment. We'll work directly with their ERP data, uh, we'll work with it in the cloud and help them understand the forecast for their costs and for their revenues. So they're using their exact data in their exact environment to make great decisions for their companies. I've heard what you do referred to as super forecasting, which sounds so cool. Um, which industries are best served by the super forecasting that Complete Intelligence offers? Yeah, it's, it's mostly manufacturers. So we work with chemical firms, mining firms, electronics manufacturers, um, you know, industrial manufacturers. So people who make stuff or people who work with firms who make stuff have to know how much that stuff's gonna sell for, how much it's gonna cost, you know, those sorts of things. So anybody who has risk associated with a future cost or a future price would need what we do to really help them de-risk their future decisions and their planning processes. Right, yeah, risk is important. How are, how are the forecasts that you provide impacted by volatility caused by unprecedented global events, say a pandemic? you know when COVID came around when markets were hit dramatically in february march and into april we increased the frequency with which we update our forecast to our clients but we also folded in a lot more volatility specific algorithms so that clients would understand what the path back would be like in a normal year the let's say the cost forecasts for a major manufacturing firm can be off by up to 30%, in some cases even wow. more, okay? So if you're planning, if you're planning those expenses and those budgets, you have a huge variance that you've got to kind of pad in your budgets. So on average, we're looking at say a four to 7% error rate, okay? So we're helping people in a dramatic way to really de-risk their future outlook on the cost side. And what we're doing is a fully automated process. So kind of that guesswork of people sitting around the table saying, you know, let's push this number up, let's take this number down. That's a long budgeting process for people. And we really put that in the cloud. We have the machines really learn and work through the data and really calibrate and, and really reduce that error for clients. Well, working with global markets and currencies, you must have massive data sets. So increasing the frequency of running those data sets probably requires quite a bit of computational power. It does. That's How right. does complete intelligence manage that? Well, and we, we do that with cloud solutions. So we work with OCI and the current generation of OCI to expand our computing capability. Many companies work across clouds, they work across on-prem and cloud, and so we're flexible with all of that. So um, the frequency of those updates, the frequency with which clients want an updated view of the future for different companies changes. You have really fast moving companies who want that on a really high frequency basis. You have slower moving companies who are looking at it maybe monthly. That's fine, we adjust to all of them. So flexibility and multi-cloud are two really interesting considerations for dealing with enterprise customers like you do. What are some of the other unique challenges that face startups like yours right now? With the pandemic, we, we've seen uh, clients be very, very risk averse. And so the, the risk of taking on a new small company as a vendor is a problem for, for major companies. They're trying to figure out how to um, adjust their business to an uncertain environment. So for us, partnering with Oracle has helped to de-risk that decision for major companies. Oracle says, complete intelligence has a viable solution. Let's talk about 
you know, how we can help you. And the credibility that Oracle has when we go into a client is really, really important for that situation. Yeah, aligning with a credible brand that's been around for 40 years like Oracle is absolutely something that a startup can use to hack their growth. I'm curious about your use of Oracle Cloud and solutions that are open, open source, cloud native like Kubernetes. Can you talk a little bit about how you work with those cloud native solutions? Sure, yeah. Kubernetes is a great one where you know, we containerize, our solution is containerized, we throw it onto Oracle Cloud and we can use it with clients. So whether it's the database we use, whether it's the scheduling um, languages we use, whether it's containerization, all of that is flexible on Oracle Cloud. Um, and we can use the open source, uh, say, infrastructure that we have within our specific configuration on Oracle Cloud. And so OCI, we've noticed over the last year, OCI has changed a lot in terms of enabling some of the very specific solutions that we've had and very kind of high performance computing solutions that we've needed. Uh, and so I think that accommodation has really given us a lot of confidence with OCI. Mm -hmm. We'd love to hear it. Yep. Your startup has had a pretty unique trajectory. You started the company in Asia, and now mm -hmm. you're based in Houston, Texas. What inspired mm -hmm. such a significant change? Uh, I guess the biggest, you know, the biggest uh, thought behind there is this is where the customers are. Um, and to be honest, this is where the talent is. Um, you know, the people who are doing the leading edge work in what we're focused on are here. Um, and the context around manufacturing and the need to automate some of the decisions around manufacturing really are happening in the U.S. and Europe in a big way. Of course, that's happening uh, in Asia, but it's different uh, in Asia. I spent 15 years in Asia. We conceived of and started Complete Intelligence there, but we really utilized as much as we could there. And I came to a point where we just had to move the company to the US to find the resources we need to build the company. And so it's been great. Moving to Texas has been great. It's a fantastic business environment. Um, the manufacturing clients here are fantastic. Oil and gas is seeing a lot of headwinds right now, which is a real opportunity for us. So the forecast is looking bright for complete intelligence. Oh, absolutely. It's, you know, again, with the right partners, we can move into the right clients. And I think any startup trying to go it alone today is going to have a really hard time. It's possible and it's probable with the right amount of work put in, but building the right partnerships, like our partnership with Oracle, has been huge in helping us to accelerate our uh, um, commercialization and our presence in the market. Absolutely. And I know that if startups want to learn more about working with Oracle, they can go to oracle.com slash startup. If they want to learn more about the exciting work that Complete Intelligence is doing, where should they go? They can go to completeintel.com. Um, we've got all of the resources there. We have a weekly newsletter. We have uh, regular video interviews with industry experts, similar to what you're doing. There are a lot of resources. Our Twitter feed is complete underscore intel as well there's a lot there great any secret market intelligence you want to share with our viewers <laughs> um yeah I, I i think you know the the changes we've seen over 2020 and the the risk and volatility we've seen over 2020 unfortunately we don't see a return to normal soon so the challenges that we've faced as startups and the challenges that our customers have faced in 2020 aren't necessarily going away. So this type of up and down environment uh, and the persistence that we've had to have as startups, you know, 2021 is not going to bring a, a normal back. We'll see a little bit more, but as startups, we're going to have to continue to push very, very hard to get the mind share within those endpoints. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Tony. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks very much.